Hello guys, this is Raven from DJ Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 178. Amazon has launched a store exclusive for farmers on its platform called as Kisan Store. This Kisan Store has been launched in collaboration with the government of India to transform the farming sector. Farmers can shop using any of the five Indian languages including Hindi, Telugu, Kannada, Tamil and Malayalam. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Wi-Fi model has been launched in India at rupees 41999. The Wi-Fi Galaxy Tab S7 comes with the same specifications as an LTE model. Samsung is offering up to rupees 10000 discount on the purchase of keyboard cover. Apollo Global Management announced the funds managed by its affiliate having completed the acquisition of Yahoo formerly Verizon Media. With the close of this transaction, Yahoo will now operate as a standalone company under Apollo Funds. Realme 8i and Realme 8s will be launching in India on September 9th. Realme 8i will be the first phone in the country to ship with the MediaTek Helio G96 processor, and Realme 8s will be the world's first smartphone to ship with the new MediaTek Dimensity 810 chipset. And Realme 8s is already confirmed to be available on Flipkart following its launch in India. Redmi Note 10T 5G, Redmi Note 10S, Redmi 9 Power, Redmi 9 Prime, Redmi 9 and Redmi 9i price have been hiked in India. These phones are now hiked by rupees 500. The new prices are available for both offline and online stores starting from today. Please check out the screen for the new prices. Samsung launched the Galaxy A52 4G smartphone in India back in March. This device was introduced in India at a starting price at rupees 26,499. The top end of Galaxy A52 4G model in India is retailed for rupees 27,999. And the Samsung has increased the price of this handset by rupees 1000. The effective price is reflected on Samsung India website. Snapdragon sound technology is a thing that exists for some time now. It is unveiling another impressive feature called as APTX lossless. As the name implies, the technology allows for lossless audio streaming over Bluetooth as long as the headphones and the streaming devices supports it. MediaTek finally overtook Qualcomm and successfully bucked the trend. With second quarter consolidated revenue of 16.3 percentage sequentially and a 85.9 percentage of on year on year. At the same time, MediaTek second quarter earning continued to be high, hitting another record high and all just one series of diamonds to earning a lot of money. Google on Wednesday announced that its users in India would be able to access detailed information on COVID-19 vaccination, slot booking, vaccine availability and other related topics starting this week. Users will be provided data about vaccine availability and appointments across 13,000 plus locations in the country on Google search maps and assistance. Google's SR3 is a super resolution diffusion model that takes as input a low resolution image and builds a high resolution image from noise. Google saw a positive result in the SR3 model and introduced a CDA model which further enhances the picture's resolution. Google will also introduce a new data augmentation technique called the conditioning augmentation that will further improve the sample quality results of CDM. And Google has introduced two models including SR3 which is called as image super resolution and CDM called as class conditional image net generation GeoFo Next is set to be available in two models basic and an advanced version. The basic model is costing us rupees 5000 while the advanced version is costing us rupees 7000. And Geo is aiming to sell 50 million GeoFo's next units in next 6 months. And GeoFo Next is slated to hit stores on September 10th across the country and it appears that the company is gearing up for the big launch. And GeoFo Next is set to be the cheapest 4G smartphone in India. And to reduce the burden up front GeoFo Next buyers won't have to pay the full amount while purchasing instead customers can pay just 10 percentage of the phone's price and the remaining price can be paid to the above mentioned banks and the finance companies through EMI this means the basic model can be used by paying rupees just 500 and the rest through the easy EMI option similarly the advanced model can be purchased for just rupees 700 and reliance years also signed credit support deals worth rupees 2500 crores with four non banking finance companies Instagram seems to be down for several people in India. Thousands of users have reported issues with Instagram on downdetected.com. It seems a majority of users facing issues with Instagram are from Delhi according to the real time outage map. And it is unclear whether this issue is limited to India or whether people are facing problems globally. According to some users the Instagram application does not refresh the feed and users are unable to post pictures and stories. As of 12 pm there have been over 2500 reports on Instagram outage in India
The electric car K5 becomes the world's cheapest electric car to go on sale. It is priced at $2,100 that is approximately 1,53,263 rupees. It is powered by an 800 watt electric motor with a claimed top speed of 40 km per hour and a 66 km range. This car almost cost us as much as iPhone 12 Pro Max or 512 GB in India. PUBG new state launch date have been revealed by Apple. The system requirements for Android and iOS has also been leaked. PUBG new state pre-registration opened in India earlier this week. According to the leaks, the PUBG new state may arrive on October 8th in India. Asus has a launch event on yesterday and it has launched a set of products which are displaying on the screen. It includes a Pro Art Station PD5 which is called as Desktop PC designed for home and office. This device is powered by 11th generation Intel Core i9 processor paired with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics. This device also includes Asus LumenWiz LED indicators, a tool-less hard drive tray and a power button shield to prevent accidental touches. And then is a Pro Art X570 Creator Wi-Fi. It is a motherboard design for creative professionals to handle multi-threaded workloads such as 3D modeling, rendering, texturing, post-production and transcoding. This board employs 14 plus 2 power stages and a complete passive cooling design. And then the next product is ProArt Projector A1 which is comes with a 3000 lumen LED light source with a 30,000 hour lifespan and features a 98% of sRGB. It also offers 4 corner and 2D keystone correction and a 1.2 times zoom ratio for larger projection in confirmed spaces. And then we can see ProArt Studio Book Pro 16 OLED. It comes with an AMD Ryzen 5000 series paired with an NVIDIA RTX A2000 graphics. The 16-inch device comes with a 4K resolution OLED display. For connectivity, the laptop also offers some other interesting features. And there is another product, ProArt Studio Book 16 OLED, which is powered by an AMD Ryzen 5000 series or 11th generation Intel Core i9 processor coupled with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 graphics. And the next one is ProArt Mouse MD300 and ProArt Mousepad PS201. ProArt Mouse MD300 is the first Asus mouse to feature an Asus dial support allowing creators to make quick and precise settings adjustments. On the other hand, ProArt Mousepad PS201 has two magnets on the upper right and left hand sides of the pad to hold earbuds, metallic tools or even a stylus in place. And then last is ProArt Display PA147 CDB which is a portable monitor helps in increasing mobile productivity. It comes with an upgraded Asus dial and a virtual control panel. Elon Musk has hinted that Starlink satellite broadband service could soon come to India. Respond to the Twitter user query has to be when the Starlink broadband services will be launching in, in the country. According to the Twitter, the company is waiting for regulatory approvals to flag off the Starlink broadband and internet. The SpaceX Starlink satellite broadband is set to become an available in India from sometime next year. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Look.